Is Mojang really lazy? Like, I mean, really? A lot of people will say that they are, and I mentioned in the last video, which did really well by the way, that Mojang was just some lazy, stupid company. But are they really? Well, it's complicated. This video will be split into four parts, so skip to the part that you're interested in, or stay, sit down, relax, eat your cup of foot cheese, and watch the whole video. The time between Minecraft updates is pretty long, averaging around one year between updates. To compare, Minecraft used to update around three times per year, so what happened? Well, ever since Microsoft bought out Minecraft, updates started to get slower. In 2015, Minecraft didn't even update at all. Microsoft only recently started making updates more frequently, but it's still a long ways from how they used to update. As you can see in this chart, before Microsoft bought Mojang, Minecraft updated very frequently, but ever since 2014, the updates slowed down. Because of the time between updates, people of the Minecraft community and their YouTubers started to leave. This was the downfall of Minecraft, but recently Minecraft started updating frequently again. And as soon as that happened, everyone came back to the game. The time between Minecraft updates will be discussed a lot more later on. The quantity of Minecraft updates are scarily low when Minecraft used to update very frequently. They also added lots of items frequently. In fact, old Minecraft updates are on par with their recent Minecraft updates. Take 1.7 for example. This update was revolutionary and added new biomes such as mesas, birch forests, flower forests, dark oak forests, savannas, and other biomes too. But recently, the quantity has dropped. A good example of this is 1.19 or 1.15. Both of these updates lacked in content as 1.19 only added a biome, structure, and a few items and enemies, and 1.15 only added 4 blocks and a B. As mentioned in the last paragraph, this is most likely Microsoft. Ever since Mojang was bought by Microsoft, the quantity of updates also reached lows like 1.10 which barely added anything to the game. The quality of Minecraft updates is very poor to say the least. Minecraft updates like 1.5 revolutionized Minecraft, adding redstone and such. More and more recent Minecraft updates have been disappointing, like 1.11 or 1.20. All of these Minecraft updates sucked to say the least. 1.11 added funny looking mansion and retextured villagers. Now don't get me wrong, villagers coated in a layer of gray concrete mix look cool, but it isn't really that much content for an update. 1.20 was a terrible update, almost as bad as 1.11. 1.20, in my opinion, ruined the netherite upgrading system. When the community wanted faster travel, Mojang added elytras, which basically ruined the game. When the community wanted villagers to be better, Mojang accidentally added slavery to Minecraft. And when the community wanted netherite to be more challenging to obtain, they added this stupid item. 1.20 did add camels, funny bookshelves, funny signs, and... And... Uh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, they added these pots that were supposed to be a whole entire new system. Mojang's quality along with its quantity is not impressive to say the least. Alright, I want you to all try to guess what example I'll be using. Can you guess? No way, it's Terraria. Terraria is an example of everything that Mojang failed to do. Terraria updates just as much, but each update adds dozens of items and features. 1.4.4 was supposed to be a quality of life update, which, by the way, is all balanced somehow. They also added a child you can kill in this update. An even better example is 1.3, which was the main update. This update added dozens of new biomes, 800 items, 100 enemies, over 10 bosses, and other stuff too. It is unbelievable. Minecraft updates usually only add 10 items, and if you are lucky, a biome and some nice generation. Terraria also has some great quality too. 
All Terraria items seem balanced and refined. Also, Terraria takes their collabs very seriously. In 1.3.4 and 1.4.3 respectively, Terraria added these giant crossover updates. Terraria crossovers add so much stuff it puts Minecraft to shame. Minecraft crossovers are usually just marketplace content. Speaking of which, why are marketplace creators more capable than Mojang themselves? The issue with Mojang is, well, owning the most popular game on Earth. They filter as much content as possible and make sure that only the best gets added. They probably scrap dozens of ideas, but you may be asking, how does this lead to Mojang's terrible quality? It's hard to explain, but it's because that scrapping so many ideas only to get the best ones, by Mojang's opinion, isn't really all that effective. Another thing is, is that Mojang typically avoids ever adding anything like sharks because, you know, apparently Mojang doesn't want kids to grow up catching sharks. That's like being a teacher and avoiding teaching kids about 9-11 because you don't want them to nuke Saudi Arabia. That's just really not how things work. Another excuse that Minecraft players use is that Mojang doesn't add much because they just want people to get used to it. This may possibly be one of the dumbest things I have ever heard in my whole life. The people that complain about Minecraft making big updates are the same people that cancelled Mojang on Twitter for adding a swimming animation. That's just ridiculous. Mojang would need 5 years worth of updates to make such a big change to the game, where it would affect the general public. More content is good. I don't really ever see people complaining about big updates other than stupid Twitter users. Also, there's another ridiculous point where updating too frequently would mean that mod developers would have to update their mods non-stop. They can just update just as much, except they can add more items. Like, literally look at what Terraria does. They update every 10 months, but the updates are jam-packed with content. The way that they can fix it is simple. They should try to get more feedback from the community so that they can get some more refined ideas. They should also try to at least remove their extreme content filter. Yes, they're the biggest game in the world, but if the biggest game in the world rarely updates and adds items that usually aren't quality and never listens to their community, shouldn't that biggest game try to expand their field? There's lots of cool scrapped items that Mojang decided not to add. I think that the main issue with Mojang's content filter is that it's what Mojang considers quality, not what the community considers quality. And for that reason, that's why Mojang should reduce their content filter. Also, Mojang should try to add some more game-changing features. The last time Mojang did something like this was back when they added Netherite, and I think they should do it more. Mojang's quality and quantity are at an all-time low, with the gaps between updates being incredibly large. The reasons for this is Mojang's content filter and them being afraid to add too much content. The solution to this issue is Mojang listening more to their community, scrapping less of their ideas, and trying to add more big features like Netherite. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, as we are about to hit 800 subscribers.